G'day ice cream lovers, welcome to this session of Scoop School, nice to have you here. Uh, you'll note after a very limited run, the uh, COVID beard and hair basically was, it was never going to be a thing, just to let you know. I kind of tried to eke it out a couple of weeks, but it never was going to work. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining us in this session, it's always great. Uh, new year, new me, new year, new you. Uh, we've got some great content this year. Got some good things coming up, getting close to our 10,000 subscribers. Now, look, I know what you're probably thinking, 10,000 subscribers. I mean, PewDiePie's probably got 100 million subscribers. I know. Look, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's 10,000 people who are dedicated to learn more about the ice cream business. I think that's pretty good. When we hit that 10,000 subscriber mark, we are going to pick someone from that video uh, to basically, and we'll announce it at the video, but we're gonna send them a Scoop School supplier pack. It's literally going to have hundreds of dollars worth of vanilla extracts and flavors and pastes and bases. We're very excited. Uh, so look, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, the button at the end of the video, I think is gonna be around about here. In fact, um, I'm gonna, I'll refer to it at the end. Let's talk a little bit about scales, but before we do so, I do wanna thank our episode sponsor, Slices Concession. Evan, Chino, the whole crew do a great job of providing for you a great place for you to get used, slightly used, uh, some new equipment. Uh, they're just a really good resource for you and I know that Evan puts a lot of effort into uh, video-based training as well. So check out their YouTube channel, uh, slicesconcession.com. The link's down here. Tell them you heard it from us. Keep the love going. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video. Just joking, just having a bit of jocularity here. Hey, new year, new me. Look, I do want to talk about scales. And I'm not talking about the stuff that you get on the back of your elbows here that gets a little bit uh, scratchy. No, not those scales. I'm not talking about the I'm not talking about those scales. I'm talking about these scales and the kind of scales that you should have in your ice cream shop. We have three different types here. I want to to run you through them uh, and kind of get your opinions. Uh, generally, the digital scales work very, very well. I know a lot of ice cream shops have one of these Palouse ice cream scales. They're pretty old school um, and they call it an ice cream scale because really it's designed and there's a pre-formatted measurement here that when you put a pint on, it kind of hits a certain point here. 90% uh, overrun, uh, which isn't accurate, and that's part of the problem because if I kind of bounce it up upside down again, it's going to give me a different reading. I give it another jiggle, it's got another reading. Give it another jiggle, it's got another reading. Although they used to be the norm, and it's kind of cool, they do larger ones as well as this. This was primarily designed for pints. Um, if the mechanism isn't lubed and really maintained, calibrated. It's not gonna give you a very accurate reading, uh, but I've had this for a long time and I like it, so I keep it around. So that's a Palouse ice cream scale. Again, um, it's a very rudimentary way of determining overrun on an already packed pint. I wouldn't put a lot of weight, pardon the pun, into the, uh, the result that it gives you just because there are a little bit of inaccuracies in the mechanism, if you will. Sorry, Palouse people, I might be wrong and maybe this is an old set of scales, just my opinion. And look, it doesn't really matter what brand, but you should have some scales around the store. This was a, a Taylor brand scale. The amazing thing about this scale, it's battery operated. Uh, we use it a lot in class. We use it a lot in uh, training for portion control. The one thing I like about this scale, I think it's about 25 bucks at Walmart. Um, it actually is a 32 pound scale. So it's very, very light and portable, yet it will actually do some pretty good formulation for you. The only downside of this is when you're taking a 12 uh, gallon Cambro or 12, say 16, uh, 18, maybe sometimes 24 quart Cambro container, it's going to overlap the edge here so that when you put the, the actual product on here, you can't read the mechanism. But uh, that being said, I like this because it's got a two point different uh, uh, 
uh, measurement process here. So I can have it pounds, I can have it ounces, I can have it grams, uh, but it'll give me to two decimal points. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, I wouldn't suggest if you are doing premium ice cream or custard or even uh, soft serve, the idea is that you want to teach portion control with these scales, not necessarily to weigh everything before it goes out the door. So I've always encouraged ice cream shop owners, have this somewhere near your dipping cabinet or where you're scooping or where you're extracting out of your soft serve machine. And, oh, that wasn't me, that wasn't me, that was the thing. You know sometimes when you try and make the noise again just to make sure that people didn't think it was you. I like having a set of scales there so you can help with portion control. If your standard uh, ice cream weight per se is six ounces, then you as the owner should be able to kind of look at that and say, hey, that's too heavy, that's too light, pop that on the scale just to get an idea. The idea is that the scale is close by where you're dipping, they should put it on there, have a look at the weight, make sure that it falls within say a quarter or a half an ounce of where you want it before they go and hand it over to the customer. Unless you're selling by weight, the perception is if you're going to weigh it every time you go on, there's a perception there of being chintzy or making sure that they don't get any more than they should, which that really is the principle, but you don't want the customer to see it. So having a, a one or two of these scales, again, relatively inexpensive, good quality, um, they will do you well. Now, the last scale here I have is by a company, and I've just pulled the uh, power cord out of it. Not entirely my fault. Frank, Frank was on it. Frank wheeled on it. This is by a company called O House. There's a lot of good scale companies out there. Um, I like this one because A, it's got a much wider, it's a, it's a 32 pound scale just like the Taylor was, uh, but it's got a little bit more of a um, display panel here, an LCD display panel, and it will actually go down to about three decimal points down. And the reason why I like these scales is A, I can put a really heavy cambro on this and yet the, the uh, display here is a little bit offset so I can see very easily while I'm formulating flavors or doing flavor development, I can put a uh, three gallon 12 quart cambro or bucket on the top here and still be able to see what's going on. Uh, but I like that uh, three decimal place measurement because in the stores where we do training, if we're saying that, okay, our regular scoop is six ounces, let's set this to three decimal points. Let's see how close employees can come to that six ounces and perhaps give a Visa card bonus to the person who gets as close to six ounces as they can. So that way you're not just looking at a 5.5 or 5.75, you're looking at a 5.753. Uh, and it makes it a little bit more competitive, but it teaches the kids portion control. So again, this is probably a little bit too robust to have just for portion control. I generally like these in the uh, kitchen or the, f the, the kind of uh, the batch room, if you will, when we're developing flavors, putting flavors together. Uh, I keep some of these smaller ones out in the uh, employee area so that they can actually just, you know, regulate themselves portion control wise and look the Palouse. I love it, it's kind of a family heirloom now, um, but I don't use it all that much. Anyway, uh, I think you should have them absolutely. Uh, the benchmark of profitability in most ice cream shops is portion control, uh, as well as the consistency. Consistency in what you're giving out to the customer, consistency in formulation of your uh, ice cream products. Nice easy one for you, let us know what scales you're using. Uh, interested to know, always interested in the comments. We glean a lot lot of the content for these videos based on your comments. So before I, uh, well after I should say, after I thank Slices Concession for their episode sponsorship, you can click here to subscribe, click down here to watch another awesome video, and if you want to go to Scoop School, click down here. Keep on scooping, see you in the next video.